Hi, it's Kelly. How are you guys doing today? It's been a while since I made a video. I got a, quite a few videos actually I'm going to make, but I figured I'd start with this one first. I want to show, um, actually Shaz had asked about waxing and not your eyebrows. Okay. I only think that's funny, but anyway, so she had asked about waxing pages and stuff, and I know everybody has their own technique. So I thought, well, let me show my technique and then talk about a few t other techniques that I use. And then, you know, everybody has their own thing. I know um, Christy from Art Geeks uses cold wax. I think it's Dorland or something to that effect. Um, I use natural beeswax, which you can get at any art or craft store like AC more or whatnot. They come in big blocks and I cannot find <laughs> what I did with my wax because I had a big humongous um, beeswax block that I do use and it has a yellow tinge. What I also use is, and I actually got this with a coupon um, at AC more and this is a candle. This is what they sell and these are pure, like these are 100% beeswax, nothing else in it and they're beeswax sheets. And they're in the candle section. And as you can see, it's textured, you know, with whatever. And you unroll it or you can roll it, you know, unroll it or do what have you. And then melt, make your own candle and tea lights or what have you. And put your wick in it and you have your candle. But what I like to do with these, and I have these in different colors. I have this obviously in, um, it's going to be like translucent. It's the clear, the clear one. I have a yellow one, a pink one. Um, I'm moving my studio, so things are kind of like in a little bit of disarray. However, um, I had this one. I grabbed this one to show what I do with it. So this is just an old page that I had done, and I wanted to show things I like to do. One thing you can do, or that I choose to do, is I bought this little tulip. It's a teeny little iron. It's the cutest little thing. Heats up very quickly. And what I do is I just touch my wax to it. Kind of run my wax. We'll do the top of the owl first before I go on to different things. Okay. I'm just going to set that wax aside. Set your wax on something that's non-stick that it won't stick to. And then you'll see this kind of that I probably melted a little bit more than I should have, but I wanted, I want you to really be able to see. So let me move out of the light so you can see where the wax is right here and it's starting to get cold. Then what I do is I take my iron and I just kind of iron it. Cause I really want it to get in there. And you can iron it all over. Wherever the wax melts, you can add it to your page. I have a lot of, I've sold, I've sold them all. I think I might only have one left. And if I find it, I will take a picture to show you. I used to wax everything a few years ago. All my paintings and everything that I sold. Um, I make things on wood, you know, just like everybody else. Wood, canvas, um, papers, everything. So... That is that, and you'll see as that dries. And I'm gonna set my iron down for a moment. And then I'll show you what we do one more time with that to what I do with it. This is also something that's fantastic. It comes with different sizes of these, and I'm a quilter, so these really come in handy for me. Um, this is from Clover, I believe, and it's just a little mini iron. And you can put it on low, medium, or high. And I used to, I mean, I always use coupons, so I get everything half off. I think I got that little mini iron that I was just using for, um, my gosh, $2.99. I think it's only $5.99 to buy. And it's from Tulip. It's for, like I said, it's where the rhinestones and all that kind of stuff is that you put on clothes, you know, that you can put um, transfers and whatnot. But this little mini iron has different sizes. I use this too. I don't have this plugged in, but I use this too as I drop and I love it. And then I can clean it off really good. And then when I go to like, I'll heat it up 
Now, most won't recommend this. I do because I'm not going to go out and buy another iron, but I will heat it up really good and then take a soft cloth, a thick one because you don't want to burn yourself, and I'll make sure I wipe off all the extra. Um, you could see like right here. I have a little bit of wax here. And um, so before I use this on any fabric, um, unless I'm waxing the fabric, which is a whole other video, um, you know, I... Uh, so I use it for my quilting. So it's no big deal. But this is something you can get. Clover sells them. I'm sure other brands sell them. Use a coupon. And you too can have, you know, your own little mini iron. Now, can you use your regular iron? You bet your butt you can. Um, nothing wrong with that. If that's all you have and you want to try this, use your big iron. My big iron's downstairs. I use that poor thing for everything. Actually, my husband bought me... A new iron because I use my old iron as well as my old blender <laughs> it's now my old blender for making like for just doing so many things I use it when I make paper my big iron I use it for doing this I could use it on here if I wanted um you know so you see now this is waxed and I'm gonna bring in a little closer and you have a beautiful wax so if I was doing this in pinks and purples, I really want you guys. I'm out. My I have two light bulbs out, so I'm a little, you know, I'm wondering if you could see that a little bit better. It's funny. Two light bulbs out makes it look worse than it does if I had all the light bulbs in. It's very bizarre. But that's where that's at. So that's that. La, 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 la. Let's go back up here. I don't think we need to see my, okay. So, so I use this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this one more time and I'm just going to melt just a little bit. And if you can see, I'm, you can just melt that little bit on your iron and I'll put him down my wax again and I'm just going to go over it again. And the first, the first layer is kind of gets the, wax in the paper in whatever you're waxing now i've done this you can see the colors of love i hope you can let's see and make sure you get done on there yeah the colors of right here i have yellows under here it's completely brightened up and i'm just going to put a little bit more wax on that what was that that fell something fell who knows with me? So I'm just re-waxing. You can see it all melting. You want, you know, to make sure it's gets all over your page, however you want it. And then you can also don't put your iron near anything that falls. I mean that will, you know. And you just leave it, leave it dry. All right, so you can watch it dry for a second. I'm just gonna clean this off over here, which is where I'm gonna do my next demo, but it won't matter. Now, once, there we go. Once this dries, which we'll come back to in a minute, I'm going to show you on this little play paper, what I do with my heat gun. Now, some fun things you can do, and I'm going to show a few fun things. I'm not going to go crazy on doing it, um, but <laughs> I say that as I look around like, what can I use? What can I use? Because I'm all in disheveled here. Um, I just saw something, and I thought, what? okay, I'll use this. I don't want to burn myself on the iron. Maybe I should just cut a piece of that off. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a piece of lace, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, now this is fun to do with. Anything that's glass, anything that, that won't melt. I don't have any glass beads here. Why? Why wouldn't I have glass beads here? Well, that is the question. Aren't you glad? Oh, I know what I can grab. Wait. Okay. We'll just do this. 
about killed my dog. All's good. She's still alive. Okay. So here's the next thing we're going to do. We are going to embed pieces in our wax. I'm going to use the heat gun for this, which I've done many, many times. And I'm going to move my iron. We're going to take you right here to this page. Okay, so this is what we're going to do right now. You okay, Yoshi? Mommy's sorry. All right. They're underneath my feet constantly. It's so hard. Little thing fell on her, so she was sleeping and got scared. Okay, so let me grab. This is going to give you an idea of what else. Again, glass beads, glass, you know, whatever. There's a million and six things you can embed. You can embed, uh, oh gosh, I wish, um, stickers, uh, pieces of paper, which I'm going to show you right now. So here's what we do. Take my heat gun. I'm going to take my wax. And I'm going to melt... and go like this. And as it heats up, I'll turn it a little bit because it's real. I'm concentrating the heat on the bottom. If you have a old paintbrush, whether it be an old paintbrush you use that you're not using anymore to paint acrylics or watercolors or you know, one that you use in the garage or, you know, whatever. You could spread this out. I'm not going to do my, you know, do that right this second because I want to show you how to do this. But then I'm just going to lay a piece of lace in there. And I'm going to push it down. And as it starts cooling, you'll see your thing will start sticking to it. But I'm not worried about that. And then I have two washers. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that sit just for a minute. Try to bring in a little bit more. Okay. Now imagine these are glass beads, uh, fibers, what, whatever you, you know, something that's not gonna melt, something that's not like a, you know, kind of natural fat, uh, natural, thing like a wool or something to that effect that would melt. Um, we could probably even use, I could cut this string off here, a piece of ribbon off my, and I'll just lay that heat, well laid up on the top so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now, I'm gonna redo my wax, remelt it with my gun. Now you can see that lace is gonna melt a little bit so I don't wanna keep the, done on that and I blew my ribbon off and that's what the fun part is about doing wax using heat gun working with Kelly whatever the little piece just doesn't want to stay okay I'm not gonna use that little piece of ribbon anyway you would set it in the in the wax and I'm gonna heat my wax up I'm gonna melt it onto my lace as you can see Just keep it dripping, dripping on whatever I added. So it stays. Turn it off. And what can I use right now? Use my chopsticks. Because I can't find anything else. If you want this to be flat, you know, you lay it flat, you do it flat. See, and you can see it's drawing already as it's sticking to my wood. Okay, and that'll just cool. I did that with the heat gun. This is on watercolor paper that I made in a journal. So you let that cool. 
You want to do another layer of, of something on top of this and wax? You can. I'm not going to go through a whole painting. This is just a demo. Um, you can also do the same thing with your iron, only with glass or metal or things like this. If you put your iron on this, you will um, melt it. So remember that when you're doing that, because believe me, I've made every mistake under the book. Now let's go back to our owl and you see how it looks matte. So let me show you. It's amazing. You lift up a rag in here and uh, all of a sudden all these things pop out. I have a, uh, <laughs> I'd like to say a soft, clean white rag, but this is a cotton, you know, white rag. And you see the owl. And all I'm going to do is buff him. And I'm going to buff him in the middle so you can see. The difference of how he shines up. Do you see that? I think you could see it better like this. You see how it's shiny here. But up here it's still not. So I'm just going to keep buffing. And you probably would want a cleaner rag than what I have. And I'm just doing round circles, as you can see, on my paper. If you have spots on here where the wax might have pulled into one pile or too thick, you can remelt it and drip it off, drip it somewhere else, thin it out. Wax is not a horrible thing. I'm sorry you have to watch my hand go around and around, but I want, to, I want you to see this shine up buff up I mean look at the shine can you see it I hope you can I mean I can see it so good here and I will hold it up at the end but do you see how that sh and imagine like I said if it was a clean a clean white towel Although this has been washed a thousand times. Let me do my little yellow piece right here. Okay. And that was, that, that's it. So you do it with your, you know, your normal. We're going to get to the other side in a second. But I just want to show you. Look at the colors, how they pop. And you can see the shine. I'm trying to get you so you really can see the shine. Look at that shine on it. Beautiful. And if I would have, which I did a little bit down here. Let me see if I can wipe that off real quick. See if I can buff this up. I didn't go all the way um, on the whole page. It just really makes the colors pop and really adds a beautiful texture to your page. So let me turn. See, can you see that? That's not that's not not a gel medium, nor is that a acrylic coat of any sort. It is wax, and you can even see on there. If I probably had a like a terry cloth cloth towel or a a cleaner towel, or even maybe even a little bit more, you know, another maybe minute of buffing might even make it even better. But that's I mean, it's it's absolutely delicious. I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do in the world. And I'm so glad. And when you touch it, it's so smooth. It's like, okay, anyway, I get too excited over things that people, <laughs> you know. Okay. I might have a gift. Maybe I'll give away. Like, maybe I'll cut half of this. And maybe on my show... I'm hoping to have my live show on um, Crafty Link on Tuesday. We, you know how we have our block of shows. I'm hoping that the storm doesn't knock it out. Um, however, all right, this needs another minute to cool. However, um, maybe I'll give away half of um, here for this for somebody to try. So if you're at my show, maybe I'll do the giveaway, um, which this is, if you look, this is very thick. This is rolled. I, I wish I could unroll it, but I can't. But I can, you know, I'll give away half of it. 
um, which is quite a bit to do to play and practice with to see if you like it or not. Sometimes people don't like to go out and, um, a couple more minutes on that. They don't like to go out and try, um, and buy new things to try them. And all you have, you have your iron at home. So, you know, why not? Now I'm just going to real quick buff this up. Let's see. It's still a little hot, so. <clears throat> it might stick. I don't want to keep you here forever if I can just get a piece of it so you can see. Oh, I remember where I have. Oh, okay. When I'm done doing this, I'm going to grab. I think I have my one painting here. The Actually, my husband bought from me. Because he loved it so much and didn't want me to sell it. So he bought it. And I can show you what I mean. Now, can you see how beautiful these are? Look at that with the wax. Look at that. It's like a... It, it, it's... Look at it. It's so shiny. All right. You know what? While that finish is cooling, give me one second. Sing amongst yourselves. Okay. It wouldn't be me if it wasn't all over the place. Okay, let me show you this. This has things embedded. And one of the things I embedded is this picture. But you can see the things, I'm just trying to show you, different things that you can embed. Rhinestones, and when, when the wax is hot, you just set them in. You can see on here, I got a little bit of wax, you know, a little wax on here. And it just shows on, it's no big deal. But these are just little, you know, stickers, whatever you have. Um, and this is just a piece of plywood. And I always put, you know, little sayings from books and words and whatnot and everything. So that's something to show you that what else you can lay in the wax. So let me just do this real quick. It's hard to do all this on the camera and um, not keep you for a minute while everything cools because it makes it so much harder. But this gives you the gist. In my links underneath of this, I'm going to put my, um, let's see here. There you go. Now look at that. That's waxed. Look at that. And these aren't going anywhere. Now I can feel like right here is a little sticky and I'll go over it because this isn't sticky here at all. Um, I know Christy at Art Geeks, her, um, some of her pages stick like this. It didn't stick yet, but I can't guarantee it's not going to stick after. I've never really had a problem with this kind of wax. Um, but I could start doing my art journal pages like this again and, um, start waxing them and they could start sticking because I've never really done them, um, and had an issue, but that doesn't mean I paid attention to that issue, if that makes sense to you. Because knowing me, I ripped it apart and destroyed a page. Like, I, I, I really can't recall. And I usually do them on paintings, but, I mean, look at that. So, Shazan, I, uh, I hope this answered your question. I hope that it helped you. I hope that if you have any other questions, I mean, this feels like so delish. And I wish the colors really, I gotta get the light bulbs, but I just wish the colors were really, really showing. This is like, oh my goodness. And the colors and the, you know, um, any questions, ask me under this. Um, so remember, this is just the regular wax. If I would have used my beeswax that I bought in my big block, it is colored yellow. Um, I think that's the natural beeswax color. So 
this would have like a yellow tinge to it. Um, you can use your heat gun. You saw how I did it. If you see little pools up here like this, like I have a little pooling part there, just reheat it and redistribute it. Okay, because all the wax will reheat, remember that, when you're doing it. And then go back and buff again. You're not hurting anything. You're not going to hurt anything at all. Um, you can add bits and pieces to it. It's play. It, anything that won't melt, it's play. So um, ask me questions. Use your heat gun. Use your iron. I have that mini iron I got very inexpensive. Um, I got my little quilting iron you can use. Uh, everything's fair game. Use your briar to straighten it out. Use a credit card, like an old credit card, like we use in mixed media to s scrape it out if you want, to flatten it out if you have nothing else. The, the fun thing with wax, the fun thing with mixed media, the fun thing with art in general, um, especially nowadays, from when um, I began years ago, is that there is nothing off limits. And everybody Everybody has their own way to do things and none of them are wrong. And always keep that in mind because, you know, we all look for inexpensive ways to do things and we all look for ways that we can save money or ways we can try things at home and, um, you know, not go out and break the bank over because if we don't like it, who wants to spend that money on it? Do you know what I mean? So if you have an iron or a heat gun or a mini iron or a quilting iron or what have you, you know, have at it. Like I said, use your coupon at AC Moore. Michael's Joanne's is online. Uh, whatever you have near you, get a piece of wax like this where they do have beeswax. And I like the clear. I have yellow. And if I find it, I'll do a quickie on it with it so you can see the color. And remember, on Tuesday Schmooze Day, um, on craftylink.com where I do my live shows. Uh, here we go. Let me peel this apart for you. you. You see how easily distracted I am. Um, cause now I'm all excited with wax again. I saw Christy do the cold wax. Then Shazan asked about waxing paper, you know, your pages. And I thought, huh, well, I'll do my way. Um, on craftylinks.com, craftylink.com. Wait. Tuesday Schmooze Day, it starts at 9 a.m. I always have the posts on my Facebook page. I'm under Kelly Donovan or Knitting and Things. And um, so you see how this comes? I mean, this is a lot of wax. And you see, saw the wax I used. So I don't want to take it all apart. But um, you come to our live shows. And my show will be at noon Eastern time. And we have great uh, stuff there. However, um, at my show, I'm going to give away half of, you know, or maybe even more than half, or maybe there, it depends on my mood. I might just cut the crappy part off right here and give you this nice little block for somebody to play with. Um, you have to be at the show. Uh, craftylink.com is absolutely free. So is uh, my Tuesday Schmooze Day live show. You just join the Tuesday Schmooze Day group in there, all free. And um, if you're at the show live... Um, Elisa, Kira, or whoever's moderating will pick a number from random.org and you will uh, be able to win some of this and be able to try this on your own art journal or a painting or whatever you choose to do. I think it's fun. It's exciting. And Shaz, this one's for you, baby. So have a great day. Uh, research waxing. Research what works for you. Check out Christy at uh, Art Geeks. Um, it's a great group per Romani and um, Courtney Brooks um, do fantastic things on Art Geeks. And I know Christy just did a video, uh, like showed a thing of hers and she uses cold wax, which now I'm like Jones and the get. So, um, <laughs> but when Shaz asked us, I thought, well, let me show my way because I saw Christy's way and thought, hmm, I'm going to buy some of that and try it. So, you know, everybody got their own gig and I think it's great and see what works for you and what you're comfortable with. Um, that's the fun of mixed media and that's the fun of playing and that's the fun of being in groups of people who um, love to create, as we like to call ourselves, the creatives, you know? So have a great day. I hope everybody in uh, the eastern part survives the storm and um, many blessings to y'all. Thank you. Head over to Crafty Link. I'll put the link underneath here so you can get over there and come to my show and win some wax. How much fun is that? I won.
want some wax. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.